this video is about gardening and uh, <laughs> this way, this way, we're going to go do gardening. We're preparing beds for the next year's growing season and uh, it's uh, and uh, uh, fall is a good time to do it. You can do it in the spring but boy does it work so much better if you do it in the fall. Like super, super ormacy compost tea. That's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make the total shit. The very first important ingredient is really good water. You don't want to put shit wrong. You do want to put shit water in your garden, <laughs> but you don't want to put bad water in your garden. Uh, so what we've got here is spring water that's been uh, the, it's called a strat trap. It's 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 refined in that it's going to be potent ormus water. Then we're going to add a little bit of ormus, an ounce per five gallons, and we're going to use our our um, our our garden formula. You can use any ormus. It's one of those things. <laughs> Might not be as good. <laughs> Because ours, our garden formula is, is a concentrate. One ounce makes five gallons of compost tea with other ingredients. And, and it is, uh, it's the uh, spagyric um, uh, elixir of red wine and honey. And so it's really good shit. This isn't an advertisement, although I just carried on like it was an advertisement. But don't think it's an advertisement. Please, I don't want you to think that. <laughs> oh, you'd think I'd been smoking something or something. <laughs> anyway, so well, water's the first ingredient. The second ingredient is manure. And the third ingredient is your your um, soil from from your garden because so what we're doing is bath the water we add the ormus to the water then we add um, a bunch of you know not a ton but like a good double handful of of manure and um, we add a good handful of your garden soil and and the garden soil adds the microbial uh, life the, the what you're what you're going to make into into this compost tea and it and it bubbles for 24 48 hours like that as long as you bubble it for you, you want to aerate it because otherwise you get anaerobic um, bacteria in the in in your gar compost tea, and what you want is is you know good live aerobic um, microbial life. And this is Will, uh, my assistant, Hi, guys. and uh, and 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 an extreme, unbelievable good alchemist. He's still a bit of an apprentice, but he's he's really working on it good. Okay. And he's going to draw off the water here. Alright. <laughs> like a golf ball through a garden hose. Eh? <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to add the, add the Ormus the garden formula and, it, and it's not super critical how much you put in there. An ounce is, is sufficient and you could, this is a four ounce bottle. <laughs> I'm just going to There's a little left in there. Okay, and 
Yeah, so now we're going to bubble it. He's plugging in the, the bubbler. And I'll tell you that, so th this is the stage where that whatever odor is going to come out. Yeah. You want to do this. We're going to move this now out outside or into the garage. And it's got to bubble for at least 24 hours. You can go longer. It doesn't. It won't hurt it as long as it's still bubbling. It has to be aerated, or 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 it goes anaerobic. And that's how you make compost tea. I've got a a, sco a, a ladle. I just I just scoop in, and, and we'll go around all of the plants. And I don't use this as a as a foliant. I just use this on the ground. And as you can see. I've got bubblers in each of these buckets and that that is to aerate so it's like a nice oxygen mix on the on the what's yeah so this so in this batch we're gonna make um, some super um, compost tea that actually has fish emulsion in it too we're gonna use a dried fish emulsion use about in a five gallon uh, bucket use about a quarter cup of that fish bone meal <laughs> and uh, uh, so we put a quarter cup in each one of those already and then <laughs> and then I put uh, two good sized scoops which is like a double handful of the manure the composted manure shit. And this one happens to be mushroom compost. And then to each one I add the, the recipe, the required recipe. <laughs> yeah, I'm having it up. Yeah, I'm having it up. I get to make a, a video and it's a lot of fun, right? <laughs> okay, so I, I do about uh, a couple of tablespoons, which is an ounce per bucket. And I'm gonna call that about an ounce. So we're, so the way you use this in the fall, and fall is the best time to start preparing your soil, is you, you mix as much good shit into your soil as you can. Good shit, you know, ah, manure. <laughs> and then you you soak it down with compost tea and and uh, cover it up for the winter. So here we've got in these beds. We've been dumping our compost in preparing the bed for next year and uh, by next year the microbial life in the soil will be just going crazy so uh, it'll really grow good it'll be a good thing fruiting growth I put in a, a bunch that's probably three quarters of a about 200 milliliters of, of um, three quarters cup of of uh, bone meal and I just put it in and uh, and then if you want vegetative growth we use blood meal hey it's starting to rain hey it's good it's starting to rain <laughs> we brought the rain on <laughs> oh yeah well, it's been raining like every day for the last <laughs> okay so here's the size of the regular Commercial beets. I'm gonna grab one here. That's a, that's a medium one. That's a medium one. Get a little. That's a, that's a, a little bigger than medium. Yeah.